that season finale of Person Interest was mind blowing. It just changed the game a little bit because it showed how vulnerable our heroes are. Mm -hmm. How is your character going to react to finding out these men who always come to her rescue? She's now going to have to help them out in such a way that wasn't quite foreseen. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what she does for a living. Um, and I think, in a, in a sense, she feels she owes it to them. I mean, they've saved her life a couple of times. <laughs> so, um, you know, she's there for them. It's hard doing interviews for personal interest because you, it's so much you cannot say. <laughs> you ask me like, wait, can I say that? Can I say that? I mean, you can tell us that. I know. We're very, we're very, we're very nice. We won't tell anybody. You won't tell anybody. Yeah, I saw that. Who, who do we know? <laughs> so what will CBS do to you? with you, uh, tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get some secrets out of me. You get him drunk, he'll tell you everything. <laughs> I got some whiskey in the bag. <laughs> Let's get not written out improv the entire <laughs> No, it's going to be some exciting things going on next season, and it's going to, we don't find them right away. I'll, I can, I'll just say that. I guess I can say that. Right? You can say that. I can say that. Wish, wait, wish Joe. Yeah, look, look. <laughs> we don't find them right away. Yeah. Just put it that way, Finch. Out of curiosity, do you guys do any ad libbing? Are you really? allowed that? Not really. Everything no. is pretty well. No. 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 They're, they're, they're pretty tight with the script in terms of. Because you know, there's a lot of subtext that's that is in the script, so they want to make sure that those beats are played as well. Yeah, so it's not very loose. <laughs> How does it change the mythology of the show? Because now that the heroes are kind of missing in action, and you guys have your characters have to step up and find them, it's no longer just the procedural element. You've got this mythology that's kind of taken over. So, how does that affect where your characters are kind of going? Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. Okay, without saying. <laughs> without saying. Um, Can we say? Okay. <laughs> See, what happens is, if, <laughs> if we give away secrets, right? Jonah Noah holds us down and J.J. Abrams canes us. Yeah, they have a, they have a dungeon where they take us to the bad robot dungeon. How hands on is J.J. Abrams? I'm sorry? How hands on is J.J. Abrams? I think it's pretty much, I think he trusts Jonah and Gray. Um, he'll chime in every once in a while with me. I don't know about you, right. but JJ's a personal friend of mine. And he'll chime in every now and again with an email about, you know, you're kicking ass on the show. Right, he says right. that to me. I don't right. know if he's I got, that to well, you. I got a card actually sent me flowers. Oh, he sent me flowers. He sent me an email. He sent me a Range Rover. Yeah. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> that no. Porsche is a little tight for me to get into, but, you know. <laughs> No, but I'm sure. I mean, you know, behind the scenes he is, but I think he, I think he trusts Greg and not Jonah. I mean, you've got, you know, I mean, look at the movies that have, that Jonah has written and the body of work that Greg Playbone has. He's been on a number of very successful television series. And, you know, now uh, only as a member of the writing staff, but also as the showrunner. Uh, so I mean, you know, from top to bottom, this thing has a has a very good pedigree. Um, so I don't. Mean, I can see JJ having a, a lot of input, um, but you know he's 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 definitely a present. Yeah, absolutely. He had a lot of say over me getting hired. Actually, he told um, Jonah to just offer it to me. He's like, "There's mm. one person you should go out." Mm. Did he say that about you? <laughs> <laughs> what happened was he called me and begged me. <laughs> I was like, "JJ, you know, don't beg." <laughs> <laughs> Level of respect I lose, don't beg. <laughs> is it exciting having a you know having a show? I mean, this was the number one show last year, new show, number one new show. I mean, it must be exciting to see so much excitement so quickly. Tomorrow. It was very exciting and unexpected because I remember when we did the pilot, I was like, wow, CBS is never gonna pick this up. This is too dark. So I'm gonna take the money and run and be <laughs> like, <laughs> and then the show gets picked up, and I'm like, really? Okay. Like no one was expecting it. Jonah will even say it. We none of us were expecting him to pick this up. And then it gets picked up and then the 
the, the, the audience's reception of it was just mind blowing. Thank you. That's the only way I can put it. Because <laughs> you know, shows you get picked up all the time. Pilots get picked up all the time, and you just you never know. You just never know. And then the amount of success this has had, I think all of us are like, whoa. <laughs> It's amazing to see, too. We're in, we're in reruns right now. Um, and it's a show still a top ten show in reruns. And, and, you know, I'm out in the street and I meet people. And they, they, they was like, wow, I didn't catch it when it first aired in September. Yeah. But I plan on watching next year because I saw it in the reruns. You know? It's still gaining the yeah. audience. It's Definitely still gaining the audience. Yeah. Why do you think that is? What is it about this show? I think it's different from your normal procedural, you know, um, like most procedurals, you show up, you know somebody's dead, now you got to figure out how to, who did it, and this one, well, you, you got to figure out how to stop what's going to happen, and you don't know who, who's doing it, if they're going to be the victim, if they're going to be the perpetrator, you just don't know, so everything is kind of like up in the air. One of the things I liked about you two, or I wanted you guys to find out that each other was working for the, you know, the good guys. So how much fun was that to play that you didn't know, you know, you didn't know each other, each other was working? When we had the moment, you mean it in the bathroom and we actually knew it? Well, I mean, it was, it was a great moment, but I mean, it was, when we shot that scene, it was like we were on our 15 and we had like a window of this big to, to get it because this, this, this show is very ambitious. I mean, with, with the amount of time that we have to shoot it, uh, the, the, the action and the number of uh, characters and storylines that need to be covered, it's, it's a very ambitious show. We didn't know. But, uh, you know, that, that, that moment was like, it was tense. It was tense. It was tense just because of the day that we had. Right. And just trying to, you know, have to he was fussing. This is yeah. right. This is a powerful scene. You're going to give us like five minutes to shoot it. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> but it worked. Yeah. But it worked. Like, we didn't even think we had five minutes. I didn't even think we had five minutes. Yeah. I said, Rick, right, right, I can't believe this. We got this is like, you know, this is the, one of the biggest moments in the, in the finale. We got like three minutes to shoot it. it we have time for one question, then we're going to rotate them. Um, you talked about being surprised that the show was picked up. Uh, apart from that, do you have, is there a moment that was the most surprising for you being part of the show so far? I guess the surprising moment for me when I, when I knew for sure the tracking and that people were really loving the show, the People's Choice Award. Because that has nothing to do with politics. That's the people choosing. And when we got that, I was like, yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. save me. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. That was a great moment. Yeah.